Hello all, welcome to the YouTube channel of Petroleum from Scratch. I am Jayesh Char and this is Data Analysis and Machine Learning Playlist. So in our previous video, we discussed about NumPy. What is NumPy and the brief introduction to NumPy. And we talked about arrays and difference between arrays and lists. How to create a NumPy array using lists and tuples. So now in this video, we will carry forward our discussion about adding uh, about the dimensionalities of these arrays. As you know, uh, when we uh, move forward an image, we will we are going to handle some images in our deep learning projects or an image can be visualized as a 2D array or you can see say a matrix, 2D matrix uh, having pixels as its values. So for that, we need to know about dimensionality of arrays. Also in uh, RNN and sequential models, we will we are going to give input a 3D array to our model for training. So for that, we need to know dimension uh, dimensionality of arrays and how to handle them and what are these things. So moving forward, first of all, we will import our NumPy as NP, our basic step, basic first step. We have imported our NumPy as NP. So yeah, zero dimensional array. Zero dimensional arrays are arrays that are having only one element. For example, if I write AR, ARR equal to NP dot array and giving it uh, giving an input of 45. So this will be my zero dimensional array. And if I want to check the dimension of this ARR, then I have to use this NDIM attribute. So yeah, I'm writing AR dot NDIM number of dimension. How many number of dimension is of my this ARR? So yeah, here you can see it is giving me a zero. So it will be a zero dimensional array. And if you call the ARR, you can see we are getting a return of array and inside it, it is 45 inside parenthesis. Or you, if you want to imagine in a coordinate geometry, this zero dimension array is kind of representing only one point, one point in coordinate geometry. And when we extend this one point, uh, if we are going to uh, going to use this one point as basic element and draw a straight line, that will be our 1D array. So in a one dimensional array. So in a similar way, NumPy, by using this zero dimensional array as its basic elements or basic uh, cons uh, constructing element, we can make a one dimensional array. So this one dimensional array are the most common and basic arrays that we use. And these are similar to the basic lists that we have discussed in Python. So we are moving forward. We will see how to create a one dimensional array. So I'm giving, giving np dot array and giving the input of so 42 and 34. Okay, I am providing a list as input. We can also add 45. Now, when I check the end demo, end demo of this array, it will be going to return me one. So it is my one dimensional array. So in place of list, if I use tuple, if I use tuple, okay. If I use tuple, then again, that will also be consider, uh, consist of, of one dimension. As you can see here, here I just have entered uh, one element inside the parenthesis. I, I haven't used any data structure. So that was a zero dimensional array. And one more point only, you can add one element here. If I, I try to add other element 56 inside this, this will be going to give me error, okay? So yeah. Here you can see here I got my array, one dimensional array. If I convert this into, here you can see your one dimensional array. So this is kind of representing a straight line in our coordinate geometry. Now moving on to two dimensional array. Okay, now imagine if I, if I use a four straight line to make a square. So that will be my 2D structure. So in a similar way, in 2D arrays, we we use one dimensional array as it any elements for uh, representing a 2D array. So basically a 2D array is, is represents a matrix or second order tensor. So now how to create a 2D array, we will see. AR again, np dot array. Now here I am going to use two square brackets representing two dimension. The number of square brackets also are also going to represent my dimensions as here you can see in one dimensional array. Uh, while I was returning the array, I was getting only one square bracket while in this zero dimensional array, I was getting zero square brackets. And again, in uh, future also, we are going to see this effect of this square bracket is uh, brackets. So yeah, 
in my first square bracket or you can see this 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 whole thing is my uh, element of one dimensional array that i have given the input now i will give the other element other element of one dimensional array as an input and when i run this and i get the arr you can see here we got our matrix or you can also see that say that this is our 2d array so this is our 2d array again now getting the end of this array we will get two so yeah this is my uh, 2d array we uh, there is also there is also one more thing present in, in numpy that is known as np dot matrix that can be used for creating matrix directly for example if i take m80 equal to np dot matrix and inside matrix i have given the same i have given the same input of this then i am going to get a matrix here you can see and when i call the type function on this matrix it will be going to return numpy dot matrix and again uh, you can also check the dimension of this matrix also by using mat dot and dim and you are going to get two so yeah but uh, basic difference between these two are the upper one is a, a type of array 2d array and this is matrix we have used different uh, we have used different functions for making these differently as in the above one we have used np dot array and in the below ones we have used np dot matrix in our coming future uh, lectures we will be going to discuss both how both varies and what are the different uh, different attributes that can be used in arrays or in matrix now moving on to our 3d array now imagine we have made a square and the square is our uh, 2d array we have made a square now if i kind of bundle up eight nine squares in this way along uh, one uh, other axis uh, let us say we have a square in horizontal and vertical axis now on the z axis if i bundle up these squares these are going to represent a cube or cuboid so that will be our 3d array in a similar way if i am going to use two dimensional array as a basic element that will create my three dimensional array how to create that we will see right now so yeah again the same thing ar and p dot array and there i am going to use three square brackets as you have already seen one two three so this is my one dimensional array that i have made after that four five six so now if i see up to this second square bracket this this is my one 2d element consisting of two one dimensional arrays so now i, I am coming out of this second square bracket and creating other 2d element by again using two square brackets one two and three and three four and five so yeah so this will be going to be my 3d array and if i'm going to check the dimension of this ar dot and dim it will be going to return me three so again let us see how uh, how it is working so basically you can see that this part this part uh, having one square bracket this is my one dimensional array okay and the if we start from these two square brackets and the here till here it is my one two dimensional element have, uh, consisting of two one dimensional arrays now after comma i have inserted another two dimensional ele uh, element consisting of two one dimensional arrays so basically we are using two two dimensional arrays to create one three dimensional array and if i am going to see visualize how this arr is going to look you can see that here that okay uh, one matrix is, one matrix is this and the other matrix is this so it or you can imagine it like a square behind a square so we have made a three dimensional array so yeah apart from that we can also make a higher dimensional arrays also an array can have any number of dimensions up to three dimension you can imagine because we are living in a 3d world but uh, apart, uh, on going on higher dimensionals we cannot um, imagine those things so yeah we we will see how we can create higher dimensional arrays 
by using ndmin ndmin argument so yeah here is an example if i'm going to write arr np dot array giving my input of one two three and after that i have given ndm at ndm at argument as value of five so okay i have written <laughs> wrong and dmin uh, just uh, remember and dmin will be used for uh, giving the dimensions that we want for our array and ndm is going to use get the get the dimension of the array that we have already created so here uh, my array has been created if i call this array here you can see that uh, for five dimension we are getting five brackets five square brackets and if i'm going to know about this dimension by using ndm it will be going to return me five. So this is about the dimensions. Now there is one other thing uh, that is known as shape. This will be used for checking the shape of a given array. So, so for example, I will check my this two dimensional array and I will use shape uh, argument on this for checking what is the shape of this. So it is going to return me two cross three. If I call array, so you can see in the array is having two rows and three columns. That's why its shape is two cross three. Now, when if I am going to use the shape on my three dimensional array, then you can see what we will see what will be our output. It is two, two, two cross two cross three. So uh, it is uh, it is uh, rep representing that okay, it is having two two dimensional arrays. Of which one dimension, of which two dimensional arrays is having a shape of two cross three. So you can see uh, it is having two rows and three columns. And these type of matrix, two type of these matrices are present in this array. So two cross two cross three. First two is representing these two. The second two is representing uh, these rows of the matrices, individual matrix. And three is representing the column, the column of the matrices. So uh, this is shape from using this uh, shape, uh, uh, using this shape argument, we can check the shape of uh, our arrays, whether it is one dimensional, two dimensional or three dimensional or any number of dimensional, we will be able to check the shape of the array. So yeah, that's all for this video. Uh, we will continue in the next video about indexing, array indexing and how to make uh, arrays by using line space and all those things. Okay, so thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.